We all know glutathione is one of the most important antioxidants. It supports detox pathways in the liver and keeps cells resilient under stress. But what if you don't tolerate direct glutathione supplements or NAC? Then I have an interesting study for you that found that the amino acid serin is a good alternative. Basically, the study found that serin protected the liver's glutathione antioxidant system under stress. It lowered reactive oxygen species, so oxidative stress, and it turned on AMPK, which is an enzyme that prioritizes antioxidant defenses in your cells. Now, I have to say that this was an animal study, so it was tested in mice, where the researchers fed them a high-fat diet to induce oxidative stress and fatty liver, and then added serin to the diet. To understand why these findings also apply to us humans, it helps to understand what serin actually is. It's also an amino acid that can serve as a precursor to a bunch of other amino acids. The two most important ones would be glycine and cysteine. Now, as you probably know, both glycine and cysteine are necessary to make glutathione in your cells, together with glutamine. Usually cysteine is the rate limiting one here, but glycine can also sometimes help, as can glutamine. The great thing with serin is that it gives us two thirds of the glutathione equation. So assuming you have enough glutamine slash glutamic acid, serin helps supply the other two missing pieces. It does this by teaming up with homocysteine in the transsulfation pathway to make cystathione, which is then turned into cysteine and the sulfur needed for this comes directly from homocysteine, which might be an advantage for people who are sensitive to sulfur containing supplements like NAC. On the other hand, serin can also turn into glycine through an enzyme called SHMT, which stands for serin hydroxymethyltransferase. And that glycine then helps with methylation reactions that keep the sulfur cycle running. I don't want to overcomplicate things here, but the bottom line is that this is good news for anyone who doesn't tolerate NAC, which is just a more stable form of cysteine or glycine supplements for whatever reason. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but many people often tolerate amino acid precursors better than the actual amino acids. So it's definitely worth trying out. And then there's other research that backs this up. For example, this study also found that serin improves glutathione levels and reduces oxidative stress. And this study showed that a serin deficiency increases inflammation and oxidative stress. Based on all of this data and also the known biochemical pathways, I think it's fairly safe to say that serin is probably one of the best ways to increase glutathione outside of NAC or other direct supplements. Now, most human trials that we have on it have to do with sleep support, which makes sense because it can be turned into glycine, which has a calming effect. But I'm sure that we will see other serin glutathione studies in humans in the future. When it comes to dosing, most people start with around one to two grams per day and then see how they feel on serin. If you want to push it even higher, then you can go with three to five grams per day because that isn't uncommon either. There are even studies on much higher doses, so up to 30 grams per day that usually don't show any severe side effects. But just to be safe, I would start on the lower end and then see how your body reacts. Serin is pretty flexible, so you can take it once daily or split it into two to three doses in between your meals. If you get stomach upset from it, then you can also take it with your meals but this will slightly reduce absorption. Also keep in mind that serin comes in two forms, L-serin and D-serin. Your body uses L-serin for glutathione and D-serin is a little bit different. It mainly acts in the brain as sort of a neurotransmitter and the body makes small amounts of it from L-serin. But for supplements, serin usually refers to the L version and D-serin products are a lot rarer. So this is just something you should know. Because serin influences transsulfation and methylation enzymes, you also want to make sure that you're not low in B vitamins, especially B6, folate, and B12. These are needed for the enzymes to run efficiently. That's pretty much all you need to know. It's very straightforward. If NAC or some other glutathione supplement doesn't agree with you, then serin is definitely worth a try. Before I end this video, make sure to also check out the video description for more free resources and my programs. They will help you if you're looking for step-by-step -step systems on topics like detox, diet planning, and also chronic fatigue recovery, and how to avoid the most common beginner mistakes that I see all the time. For more info, just open the description. It will all be listed there.